So I guess what I wanted to say is that even though that some of these religions may teach truth, they may teach, some, some parts of it are true, you've got a lot of deception buried inside of some of these things that they teach. And these, these little things are, can be extremely powerful to a person or, or have a hold on that person's life. So be careful what you listen to, what you understand as truth, who you believe is true. Believe the Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the only one who can, can save you. It's not going to be an organization. It's not going to be what they call a governing body. It's going to be Jesus Christ. The doctrines that they teach are false. They mix in the bad with the good, and it becomes extremely hard to decipher between what is love and what is false doctrine. Pay attention to these things. Pay attention to what you're being taught. Test the Spirit to see whether or not it is from God. God will let you know these things. First off, it, have, it has to have love. First and foremost, it has to have love. Everything reaches and points through love. If you get rid of that love aspect, then you do not have anything from God. What you have is a machination from the devil, and that's exactly what the JWs have. JWs and so many other religions, it's a machination from, from the devil. It's, it's truth mixed in with falsehood. The devil knows the Bible, Bible better than, than probably any one of us. Fletcher. He, he still got all that memory. And, and so he understands these things and he knows how to play them. And I think that's why God put me in this religion and had me heavily indoctrinated in it. Things stand out. Things things become things become clear. You start seeing that these false doctrines can can have an effect on somebody. You start seeing that they're false. But see, some of these ones that are in these organizations, in these religions, they don't take the time. They don't take the time to test it. They trust too much, and that's always been my problem. I've trusted too much. I trusted my parents. I trusted, I trusted the organization instead of letting God lead me. That's where I messed up. That's where I messed up. If I would have, I would have listened to God a long time ago, and I would have understood that these things are, are all just, you know, to fill their own bowls, basically. To, to put bread on their own table, pretty much. That's all it is. It's not, it's not love. Look at what they're teaching now, folks. I mean, all you got to do is Google an organization or JW's lawsuit, a sexual lawsuit. JW's sexual lawsuits. There's pages of them. They've got 66 million lawsuit class action open right now in Canada. 13.5 million awarded already. 4,000 a day in California for a fine because they're not returning into the child sexual allegations already. These things are true and they happen inside this organization. And my stepdad, who has arranged to cover up a lot of these things, he sits in there on his throne acting like he's doing God's will. And he knows he knows he's not. He knows that, that that's not, he should know. If he doesn't know, then he is a bigger fool than I thought he was. It's either that or he truly is in league with Satan. I don't know which one it is. But he's got, he's got things that, he's got things that, that he's, he's done that he's going to have to be held accountable to God for. And he's going to have to remember these things. But my message is for those that to keep 
to keep you from from having to go through such hurt the hurt and pain of of realizing you're you've just been basically duped to the to the highest level because satan will prey on somebody with a good heart because that is the one thing that's the most powerful thing is is as a person with a good heart you find somebody with a good heart that's extremely trusting and and that's the way god's people really should be but see there's you got these you got the ones that are mixed in that are from the devil or the ones that are blinded and when you mix that in with somebody that's that's extremely gullible or, or easily deceived you've got a powerful weapon because you find a person that you can you can that you can conv convince that they're teaching the truth and they have a sincere heart oh man that's a mighty weapon right there that's a mighty weapon when somebody's convinced they know something is the truth Somebody's convinced they know something's the truth. They have a conviction in their heart. And that's what I have. And that's what a lot of them have in there. It's not something, it's not that they really have ill intent. Not the, the majority of the Jehovah's Witnesses are just blind. That's it. They're blind, they're duped, they have good hearts, they have they have they have the right intentions, most of them. Some of them know what's going on. And when you get into that deep ring, that deep ring inside that organization, you start seeing these things and you understand them. And the problem is, is even still lies in there. You begin to accept them. You begin to take them as, as fact, as truth. And then you preach that with conviction. And, and you feel like it's truth, but it's not. So that affects you, that affects your message, that affects, that affects it all. And it affects other, others' lives. Be careful what you listen to. Test the spirit to see if it's from God. If it lacks love, in all aspects if it lacks love in all aspects there is no man that should be able to judge another man say you should not be able to talk to your family if somebody's doing something wrong to you yeah stop talking to that person if they're hurting you stop talking to that person if if it's if it's if, if it's if it's a ministry filled with love, then it's a good ministry. If that ministry tries to deceive you into saying you should do this, something that doesn't seem like it has love in it, then you automatically should know that you are being duped right from the get-go. They don't cover a lot of these things and they don't talk about the disfellowshipping to somebody that they're just now studying with. They're not gonna do that. They're not going to pressure, pressure, you know, that person with the, with the things that they're going to teach them about all these. They like to have their ears tickled. They hear about the paradise or whatever and, and, or, or yeah, yeah, this, that, the love that we share. It's not a love folks. It's not a love. It's a life of misery and pain and hardship and ache. Anyway, my last video, I didn't completely finish it. it. It cut off and it said there was a lot of truth there. Uh, I, I had to say, I had to pick this up and finish it because I don't want that to get misunderstood. Or There's a lot of truth, but it's mixed with so much deception that if you go into it, you, you're going you're gonna to end up coming out scarred. You're going to come out scarred. You're going to come out hurt. You're going to come out with less love than you went in. Or you're going to come out so broken and crushed that you feel paralyzed, too paralyzed to do anything. Too much sadness already in this world to, to sit there and, and to try to 
to try to control somebody else's life with false teachings and with false love and try to, to try to get them to put on whatever it is your cult or your organization teaches and, and call that true religion. Folks, you got to find God and you have to you have to make a personal relationship with yourself. Do not make it about other people. Do not make it about other organizations. Make your relationship with God and all else awesome things. All else will be taken care of. Things are hard, things are but things will change. And God will come and save his people. And I feel sorry for the organizations and the ones that 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 make these people suffer like this because God's wrath is gonna come down so hard on them. They don't even know how much they they they've been hurting people out of them. They don't care most of it. Or they don't they, they blame it off on their members. So anyway. I've enjoyed the morning at the beach talking with you guys. Um, I guess I'm gonna go on now, but say a prayer for those that are stuck in false religions, that are stuck in 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 a loveless loveless organization or, or whatever it is pray that they find happiness or that they find true answers they have sincere hearts God's going to help them so you, you, we know this you know the Bible talks about those that have not come to know the deep things of Satan and the ones that have you know He's got to save them, and he, he's got he's he's going to save them. Every knee shall bend. The Bible says, every knee. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. I pray that you brothers and sisters out there are blessed.